Hello everyone and welcome back to Black Mesa. This is episode 8 where last time we went through Gonarch's Lair and we began the Interloper chapter. We've been running through that one for a little while now and after navigating reactors and machinery and all sorts we're, uh, we've reached this part uh, of the game. We've had a shower, we've all, we're all healed up and ready to go and it's time for us to, to navigate the rest of this uh, lovely location that we're in, so I think we're going to just head in the same direction of this stuff. Oh, oh, and then I'm going to get pushed out. Yep. And then I'm going to get pushed out because I am a organic substance uh, in a world of green barrels. And it's time for us to continue through this hellscape and see what kind of mess that we can get into. Interloop has been actually uh, quite a quite a fun segment so far. It's been. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. I really take it back. Uh, Interlooper, before that moment, was a really fun segment uh, because it was awesome to see. <laughs> it was awesome to see the. Um, just details on uh, creatures being built and the Vortigaunts at work and, and all of that all of that kind of stuff. Um, this level's just taken a huge dive um, because of the of the fish monsters, and um, we we take no we we take no part in that. We don't want to we don't want to be there. We're just going to take our ghost busting gun uh, and uh, and enjoy ourselves. Just gonna eviscerate these things. Okay, we've got a portal. I might save my my gun, my my fancy ghost busting weapon for the stronger targets because I can just use the shotgun on the bull squids. It's a good thing that they've got these showers here though, frequently for me, because I'm gonna get eaten by sharks otherwise. Everyone's favorite part of a platformer is uh, when you're on conveyor belts. Uh, you gotta love the conveyor belt part of a level. And uh, it's always fun when this isn't the first time that uh, this game does platforming levels either. <laughs> this is just the Zen version. Alright, let's keep going. Over here. Go over here. Go over here. Oh, uh, hello. Am I going in here? Oh, hang on. That's where we come from. Oh, I think that must be like a portal that's um, like a checkpoint portal. The vorts are helping us. Just walk around that barrier. So glad that they added uh, the Vort's speech in this game. Let's go down here. Okay, let's go. Let's go on a journey. Man, if only the lasers went the whole way across both times, then I wouldn't be able to get in here. Limbo. And... Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> Nailed it. Uh, first try. Forget that when you jump, you also have to go off to the side. Otherwise, you just jump on the spot. Uh, very clever. Okay. Teleporter. Okay. This way. Up. I don't know if the blue ones hurt me like the red ones probably will, but that hurts you. Holy shit! Um, 
Oh, if you bounce into one of these, uh, you will take damage. So uh, don't do that. Uh, lesson learned. Right, we're not we're not doing that today. Okay. So much just navigating this. Um, okay, I'm going up there, I think. Am I going up there? I don't think I'm going up there. Where, where am I going? Am I going up there? Um, hmm. Yes, I am. Because then... I stand on this. And then I stand on this. And then I stand on this. Oh! Okay. Almost. Um, perfect. Gordon is so good at just shoving himself into tiny places and somehow fitting. Okay, wonderful. Next. Long. Okay. I don't want to go down because I don't know if that's going <clears> to <throat> accidentally take me. Can I just... You reckon I could jump around? I don't know if we've been there before. Oh. I... I press the... I press the jump button. Um... Hi? <laughs> I pressed the jump button and it just uh, didn't do the long jump. Check this out. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, look at that eyeball. What's what's going what's going on? <laughs> what's going on with the fish? He felt bad for attacking me. <gasps> oh! It didn't even auto save. It didn't even auto save. Are you sure it didn't even auto save that whole time? All right, it did. For some reason, it just loaded my quick save. I thought it just took me all the way back to the beginning. There we go. All right, it's a false alarm, everybody. <laughs> false alarm. Okay, so oh, there's a there's a way to climb over and around from there. Okay, there you go. The more you know. The more you know. Up, up, and around. There we go. That's how it's done. Obviously. Obviously. Starting the episode at the most exciting part of the game, naturally. This is the most exciting part of Half-Life. Conveyor belts. What I will say in terms of the okay, what I will say in terms of the uh, the platforming and navigating the environment, I am pressing the spacebar. Please jump. Gordon Freeman, I swear to God, my man. I'm just gonna do that instead. Um, what I will say about the platforming, like navigating areas like that, where you have to like look for like tiny parts of the like machinery to step on to get lifted up then jump onto other segments it's a way that feels uh it totally circumvents my usual pet peeve with platformers when 
in platforming games, the path is so clearly designed for you to navigate or like things fall in a way that is so convenient for you to grab onto and it just forms this like path. Because to me, just to some people, it might look like a mess of things and you're navigating the environment uh, naturally. But like to me, it just like the way that I view it, it just feels like such a clear cut singular pathway through all of the chaos um, when platforming. I'm thinking like uncharted climbing segments and stuff like that when things are crashing around you and this plane wing falls in a way where it's right in front of you and it's just, I it's a pet peeve of mine with platforming and navigation but like what I really love about um, like what Half-Life does for example in games that are similar is when the, the platforming of the environmental navigation is not obvious it's not handed to you there's like little clues uh but the way that the environments feel it feels very like set up and intentional but it doesn't feel like it's there for you to actually properly climb about and get through all these areas and it's and it's nice i like that it uh i like that it does that uh it is it is very very good because you're like oh i'll just stand on this this little thing and then i'll oh shit I'll stand on this little thing and <laughs> and then you'll get confused because you're like, wait, where do I go? And you die because it's not like the most natural and, and obvious thing ever. And the prime example is this, like how there's like there's these things that are just part of the machinery that works. You stand on this and then this door goes down and then I can stand on this and it's just cool. All right, let's try this again. Let's actually get it to work this time. Okay. I think I just stay inside. And then I will get booted off to the left here. Because the alarm's going off. Because it's like detecting an organic presence. Okay, we're we about to get incinerated. There. And then this as well is cool. Jump on this real quick. Um, looking for a way out. Should I just stand back on it? I'm just gonna stand back on it. Oh. And again, what I'm talking about also applies to, to this, where it's like all of this machinery just has moving parts and things that work in this tiny little room, and you just have to be observant to, to navigate it. You just have to be observant to navigate it and go through instead of uh, everything being super obvious. Okay, and I'm gonna just keep following this. So much work going into this cube right now. Alright, feel free to send me back on my way now. I'm ready. Nice. <laughs> Handled beautifully. Get me out of here. Thank you. Uh, I don't need a shower today. Okay. Next segment of conveyor belts. <laughs> Just when you thought it might have been over. It ain't. Oh no. Hello. Okay. Okay. Wait. Don't pick this shit up. Oh shit. What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck? Oh god. Here, give you a taste of that weapon that you don't even have yet. I can see why they gave us a shower now. To heal. Oh my god, look at them all. They're just getting run over. 
They're so funny. They're just standing there. Willingly getting squished. <clears throat> oh, I don't think I can get back up to the shower, so never mind. Or can I? Oh, God. Oh, 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 um, why the fuck are there so many of them? Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm like, why the fuck are there so many of them? Jesus. Okay, um... Time out, team. Let me just navigate this shit for a second. Yes, that's exactly what I was looking for. Perfect. Got that beautiful vocal. That, that vocal's coming in again. if this was only taking me to a healing thing. Oh no. Oh, there's a fucking pathway. Ow! Nice. Oh shit. There's so many of them. What the fuck? Why do I have a snot? Oh, my gun's being charged. Hold on a minute. Oh no, that's a vort. I didn't even realize. I'm being attacked at, I'm being attacked by a vort. Fuck. I'm gonna just keep my distance so I don't attack a, and kill a Vort by accident. I'm almost dead. Yes, alright, there's the charging things. I didn't even see them at first. Oh no! The Vort's still under mind control. I thought I was safe. Okay, now I know what to expect. Jesus. That caught me, uh, that caught me so off guard. Come on, you mind control boys. I'm free in my Vort pals. There's nothing you can do about it. Right. Let's get this bad boy charged, shall we? Come on. 
Thank you. Alright, surely that vault's not under my control now. Alright, cool. Nice. I'm <laughs> like, don't make me kill him! Um, can you sh turn this off for me, man? I gotta, sh I gotta do it myself, do I? Those bullets gonna okay, they don't come through the thing, good. Oh, oh I almost killed a Vort in the distance. I don't even know if I'm going the right way, dude. Oh! <laughs> oh, this is a brutal checkpoint. Okay, something just smacked me into next week. It's fine. Free my boys from mind control. Don't be mind controlling my boys now. Ride. I'm ready. And no vorts were harmed, baby. Uh, this just looks like where I started, except a different room, I guess. Okay. Nice. New area unlocked. I ain't killing my vort friends under mind control. We spare in lives. It is hard when they are putting everything into trying to destroy you, though. Oh, more conveyor belts. What? <laughs> who's making this shit? Who's pu who's putting these who's putting these conveyor belts together? And then they're like, cool. And then trampolines. And then trampolines. That's how we gotta <laughs> transport this shit. He's having a shower. Look at him go. He's just chilling. Look at him just chilling. I'm waiting my turn. I'm polite. Thanks. Thank you, buddy. You clean off. My turn now. <laughs> I'm glad that they have these at least, you know? I guess it keeps him in good health, I suppose. We're going over this way. More of this lake, just cool machinery doing its thing, which is what we need to then... Ooh! <laughs> and it just works. It just works. To progress! Okay. I mean, I... I'm happy... What? They've got a shield? Why does he have a shield? 
Oh. Because this is going to be like the Nihilanth shit, how Nihilanth uses those crystals in his chamber to heal himself. Alright, alright. Anytime they want to hop off the conveyor belt ride, I mean, I'm, I'm on board. I'm down. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to get off the conveyor belts. He's fucking... Oh, God. I was at full health. I was at full health. Can you believe that shit? <laughs> I got squashed. Like a bug. Insignificant bug. Alright, mate. Where are you? Come on, then. Hop in. Get fucking zapped, you motherfucker. <laughs> I ain't playing no games. Holy shit. That's so funny. Alright, let's destroy this crystal, because otherwise he's gonna be annoying. Unless I can zap him through th Yeah, you can't zap him through the thing. Right. There you go. <laughs> Not so powerful now, are you, chief? That's a teleporter thing. That is a prolapsed trampoline. Okay. <clears throat> Why are we here? Where am I going? Um, ah! Okay. Well, that was, um... Now we're just back where we started. I don't know why I'm doing that. Let's see here. Oh! <laughs> Oh no! I was meant to do that. Okay. Well. Look, guys, I just work here. Alright, let's do this. I guess we're just going over here. Whoop, there we go. What a weird way to do things. I'm in. Nice. Fun, though. There's our teleporter. Oh! Um. Hey. Okay. Right. <laughs> let me just. Let me just turn this off first. Hold on. <laughs> Do not need a bath, I'm good. I'm about to fold my death though, so I'm gonna save before I do something. <gasps> oh. Yeah. Everything doing an incomprehensible amount of damage. Dude, what the fuck? Everything just doing an incomprehensible amount of damage. Pretty, pretty toasty, if I say so myself. Hey, how's that still alive? Get out of here. Fucking machine gun ass with your hornets. Get your machine gun hornets out of here. I want no part of it. Still more of you. Look at these fucking turd balls. Who's turd balling around here? Alright, we're going through this teleporter, but. Let me see. Alright. Teleporter it is. Wait, isn't the orange one the ones that we go through? Must be the green ones. Oh, hang on. Am I crazy? I thought the orange ones are the ones that you can walk through. Maybe I have assumed wrong this whole time and we're actually supposed to go this way. Never mind. 
Yeah, that's a green one. The green ones always seem like the ones that you come out of, not the ones you go into. Maybe I'm just dumb. I don't know. Nope. Oh. Should have should have seen that. Should have seen that coming. Okay. Um, so I'm going around here to do a bit of to do a bit of this. Doing a bit of this. Doing a bit of cheeky platforming. Get a, get around here. Be a bit of a Zen mechanic. There it is. Thank you. Wait for the barrel. Follow the barrel. Fuck, where am I? Okay, yeah. Okay. Alright, I'm... Okay. And it's, and it's any time they want to move on from the whole conveyor belt thing, I'm very much on board. To move on from the conveyor belt thing. <laughs> We're still doing it. We're still on the conveyor belts. It's it's fun, but it is it is lengthy. It is a uh, quite an extended stay. Oh <laughs> nice. Ah. Going for a ride, how fun. There's more of those fuckers around here though. So I can see that they're getting played around with. Okay. Um Everything goes through these barriers, so I need to do this shit first. Um, they're all being held up by the controllers, right? I guess I will not question it. Oh, yep, there, there we go. Holy shit. What? What? Cut that shit out, man. Okay. Um, what the fuck? Okay. Interesting. So I gotta shoot these in sequence while also avoiding getting destroyed by lasers. I, I get it. Okay. I, I see. Fun. Are they instant death lasers or are they just they just do damage, okay. They're not instant death lasers at least. I can accept that. Fucking fleshy prison shit, alright. Launch me! Launch me up this flesh tube. This is what the cum sees when it's coming out of the penis. This is a sexual education lesson now. But if there is red coming out, um, consult your doctor, because that is not supposed to happen. Yeah, it's not supposed to be red. So, um, just uh, look out for that. Okay, we've only just we've only. <laughs> taken out one line so far, so, um, let's have a bath, hop in the old shower, and let's go take out another one of these cables. You know what they say, when there's a segment of the game that's very long-winded, make sure that they do it three times. Don't get mind controlled, Pen. Oh, there's so many of you. No! Don't get mind controlled! No! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him!
Um, no, I fr you're all f you're all free. See, it was, it was fine. Just a just a just a minor altercation. I I forgive you. As you guys forgive me, you know, we're all good. We're all good in this world. There you go. Uh, why won't you shoot me in the right direction, please? Galanga. Galanga. Thank you. Okay. What the? Okay. Oh, I'm supposed to be dropping onto the. <laughs> I'm supposed to be dropping onto the shields, as platforms. For some reason, uh, I just assumed that the whole thing would be covered, and I'd be doing the same as what I was doing before, just um, shooting things. Oh, that's right. It's obviously uh, intentional. I thought I was throwing just behind the shield because it didn't look like it curved the whole way. Oh god. Ooh. Look at what I did, guys. So you're gonna say, while this is a long-winded segment, all of the uh, conveyor belts and such and all, all of that, you gotta you gotta hand it to him. Despite the fact that it, it is a long segment, it's still fun. And that's kind of like just the Half-Life magic, I think. Not even just Black Mesa, that's just like the Half-Life charm. Is the platforming, even in like these, these segments when you're like, okay, man. Conveyor Belt City. Um, they still make it fun. They still make it fun. So it's like, you want to move on, but at the same time, you're not fucking miserable. Uh, going through it. Oh my god, holy shit. Oh no, I don't know if that's the... <laughs> I got the wrong weapon. Get fucking disintegrated. Motherfuckers. The worst enemy in Half-Life 1. You fucking evil bitches. You and Nylanth. Get out of here. You suck. Okay. Now. I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna go in here. And imagine if I didn't have my uh, long jump pack, that would be a problem. God, it is very claustrophobic in this place. Oh shit. Oh! Well, you fucking. Okay. A little bit of a warning that I'm going to have these lasers from hell descend upon me. Gee, oh my god. What the fuck? How am I supposed to dodge that shit? Good thing this shotgun has range. <laughs> they're, just, they're just weak enough for me to destroy them. What the fuck, man? Okay. Ugh, just a uncomfortable, uncomfortable darkness. Launch me up! Thank you. Geronimo! We did it! I take my final bath time. Where did the Vort go that was here? I guess he moved on because... You can escape and so can I! Alright. Let's go! Mega launch. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, dude? This is so stupid. I love it. Whee! Let's go! Oh, fuck. Oh. Ooh. Whoa. 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 
Did I just get like... Am I being held in like stasis right now? And then dropped in a trash can? They're like, nope, you can't load into this thing. Um, I just got thrown in the garbage because I was again detected as a fucking organic matter. Yo. Bro oh, I thought that was glass for some reason. Fucking hell! I just walked off. <laughs> just, just walked off. I'm. Don't take me anywhere. Don't take me anywhere that it is a great height, you know? Because I will apparently just walk off looking out into the distance. Because I can't see what's right in front of me. But I will be too busy looking out. Now what's far away? For some reason I just thought that this was glass. I was like, yeah, that's fine. There you go. It's, it's um, very much walkable through, you know, if you, if you want to do that. So I think that's what we're doing. I think we're out. Uh... Ah! Okay, shit. I'm in it now. Um, I'm gonna just stand somewhere. Ah. Oh, it charges my. Oh, these are the these are the nice crystals. Nice. Okay, I'm getting sucked in. Oh shit, um, um, wait, am I, oh, I'm, I'm, I, I'm trapped, oh, you're gonna throw this shit at me, okay, um, uh, oh, it's one of these bad boys, um, can you not throw shit at me, fuck you, um, Oh, I can just destroy it. <laughs> I can just... Okay. <laughs> I can just do that. I thought I was really gonna have to, like, time that shit so incredibly well. I, I'm just like, oh, i just destroy it. Okay. God, this is so cool. This whole... This whole section is wild. Dude. Can I still charge my armor on the outside? By these crystals? Does it navigate through? I love a segment that's like specifically designed for you to like use these weapons because they give you all the opportunities to like obviously charge them and stuff. Then you get to have just so much fun with this fucking gun. Because I don't think I used it much in Half-Life 1, to be honest with you. Now I know I can be a little more, um... A little more frivolous with my... Weaponry. Like, the power weapons. God, this is so cool. Where are we going? Nihilance, where are you? I'm not sorry. I'm gonna come and blow your brains out tonight. Okay. Yes, the crystals do heal. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, this music. Dude, I'm losing my mind at how consistently incredible this f oh! how consistently incredible this soundtrack is. All right, you first. Oh, I'm gonna die. All right, while we're here. Bruh, this soundtrack is so good. Like, consistently. Awesome. All right, let's let's actually do battle while the music plays. I'm in like a 80s 80s battle 
for my life. I mean, I'm not wrong. Alright, where is this fucker? Nice. Okay, I have healing things. While I fucking, you know, deal with the onslaught of Hornet weaponry. I want that song playing on repeat. That was great. Let's keep it going. Next round. This time with pink bars. I don't know why they think that's gonna make a difference, but that's okay. Now this is a this is a scene where like the vocalization is super appropriate. Like it's awesome. The vo vocalization here just fits. And I'm not getting any kills right now. Objective, survive. Oh my god, what the fuck? like some sort of superstructure version. What the hell? No, I gotta I gotta get in. Oh. 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 Destroy it. There we go. Holy shit. Oh, that was only one. I didn't know there would be a shockwave. Oh, I got a... Nice. Alright. I didn't know there would be a shockwave. You gotta fucking... Give me a shockwave warning. I, s I think my spacebar's broken. <laughs> the amount of, like, failed jumps I've had today... Let me, let me tell you. My jump bar's busted. I'll be jumping, and Gordon be dying. Get in here! Oh shit! I'm getting killed by the floor! Heal! Heal! Oh, there's still another one! Shit, there's still another shield. Oh man, the music in this fucking s section. Holy shit! Let me in! <laughs> oh, what? Oh shit. Hang on. What? Where's the entrance to this shit? Oh, there. Hang on, let me make sure I'm not standing against a wall so I don't get. There we go. Nice. My god, man. My god, man. This is this is how you do the end game to to Half-Life. This is just, this shit's crazy. <laughs> they need a yeah. They need a I need to be working on Half-Life games officially, properly. For sure. Alright, I think we I think we've finished that segment. Now that was that was cool. Now this is just a different kind of conveyor belt. 
instead of it being conveyor belts. It was just a vertical push, but I was fine with it. Oh god. <gasps> no! 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 Um... Oh, shit! Uh, hello? It's- is it not too late to- yeah, Fuck you! I was joking when I was saying, is it too late? I'm gonna fucking destroy all of you fuckers. No negotiations. Okay, one alive so he can tell the story of Gordon Freeman. They will cower in fear at my name. Nice. <laughs> Perfectly timed music ending. Open the door, please. Dude, they got people in there. And computers. Oh man. I don't know if this is true or this is the case, but like this kind of shit uh, gives me sort of like that that vibe or like that mentality that like. Look at the security guard as well. Uh, the pizza box. Uh, imagining like humans venturing in here and like figuring out how their power sources work and all of their like natural organic technology and then Zen kid, like taking them, you know, Nihilinth and the collectors and stuff, taking them and then studying them and then using human technology to also influence their own. Probably not the case, but it's just like, that's just what the imagery kind of like, um, says to me. It's just like, there's like this mutual sort of like, learning between um, both groups. Holy crap. Can't, I can't break you out of there. Wild. Still got pizza in it. Amazing. Alright, um... What am I doing in here? That's the real... That's the real question. I gotta shut some shit down? But how? Oh. I'm just gonna... Bunch of... Bunch of ammo. Fine with that. Oh, did I just get that from the... Oh. I can interact with it. Okay. There you go. Give me the pizza box then. Nope. Pizza is all I wanted. Um. Knock, knock. Oh, I'm just getting sucked up. See you later, everybody. Have fun. Wow. Okay. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna destroy it. The rejuvenating waters and the giant crystal. Okay, let's see. Do I have to fuck some shit up? Or are we just walking through? We're gonna leave this beautiful piece of technology be.
my god. Um, mood lighting. Just a bit of mood lighting. Holy crap. Okay, well that's some platforming. My, uh... Okay, put me in the tube, Doc. I'm gonna go on a little journey up here. <gasps> yes, okay. I am the last. Ah, and here's teleporter. Oh, hoo -hoo. You know what? I'm really glad that wasn't in. Um... God, look how bad. I hope that. I'm looking at my recording preview and it just looks so laggy. And I hope that that's... It probably is, and that's kind of shitty. For me! I want you guys to at least know that for me... It looks beautiful. It's very smooth. It's it's awesome. I don't know what's going on with my recording. Black Mesa just uh, putting my PC through the ringer. I don't even have it on max settings, by the way. Um, I don't even have it on max settings. I specifically turned it down so it would be nicer and I've got a decent rig so I, I don't I don't know what to tell you the game doesn't like to play and record at the same time but look at this this music with like this scenery is absolutely gorgeous I do apologize if it's a little hard to watch and, and laggy on the recording because it's not for me it looks beautiful for me. We're finally here! Through the, f through the purple fire and the flames. And all the voices that we can hear echoing through this place as well. Are we coming face to face with Nihilanth now? This is face to face with Nihilanth time? After a blinding light? And then a blinding green light. Ah! Nice. <gasps> oh, there he is! Look at this chamber. Holy shit! Nihilanth! Ah, uh, whoa, okay. Holy shit. This is so different. Chuckles mockingly. So instead of crystals, he's got like... So he's got a shield that's... ...generated much more obviously. Okay. So this is, this is different. Let's see. He's just fucking sending all the... ...all this shit at me. I'm just gonna hide behind my armor charging <laughs> crystal. So we gotta destroy these. And then we can. I guess we jump up in the air and. Fuck him up. Dude, look at the design. Look at the. His lower base of the body and that face. I'm just trying to take a moment to appreciate that design. Alright. Let's figure this shit out. I guess there is no harm in just shooting at the shield things themselves and seeing if that does the job. Oh, what? Okay, it does damage, but that laser thing is weird. Right, I'm just gonna shoot it. Nice. Cool. You just shoot him. Ah! I'm not going to do what I did in Half-Life 1, where I go, hmm, do we shoot those things? And then I won't shoot them for like the whole time. I won't piss you guys off that way this time. <laughs> oh, it like, it opens up the, okay, I see. Nice. And I'll try and not get fucking raised to the ground. Ooh. 
It's time to die, big baby. Your days are numbered. Big baby. Oh, God. Come on. This one is much stronger than the rest because I must not be hitting it right. Okay. I think it's just weaker if you hit it at the back, to be honest, than at the front. Oh, did that hurt, little baby? Did that hurt, little baby? What am I doing? I guess I'm destroying the outer shield part. Oh, dude. Nice. I uh, will take all of this. Let me save real quick. What's happening with the green? What's happening there? Okay. What the fuck? That's a car! That's a forklift! You didn't tell me you were forklift certified. Oh my god! Um, holy shit. Man's got updated moves. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm trying to heal. Holy shit, man. <laughs> He's gonna, throw, he's gonna throw shit at me again. There we go. Here, there's the car. Dude, I'm behind a thing, right? You can't, I'm, 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 I'm sat, mate. I'm sat behind a thing. You leave me alone. You ain't throwing jeeps at me today. <laughs> All right, let's fuck this guy up. Now, I'm pretty sure he's got to open up his little pea brain, right? Ah! Oh, hang on. There you go. Okay. Um. Oh my god! Okay, maybe... Oh shit. Maybe what I'm going to do... not try and hit him directly yet but I'll just wait for him to do his, these things that allow me to do damage to him later like when he summoned that crystal from the ground and I could destroy it is that a platform I, I thought that those would be the platforms that I could um, trampoline on to get some height on him oh shit His fucking hellfires. Oh, fuck. No jeeps, please. No forklifts either. God damn it. I'ma quickly have a bath time over here. Shit. Oh shit. These fucking things. Open this thing. Let me do damage to you with the crystal. Whip this thing up. Yes, okay. I'll just I'll just go near them, I think. I think that's how it works. Just go near them and then he'll open it up. Open this shit up!
god, dude. Holy fuck! I died. I shouldn't have stayed in one place. Um, I don't know which part of the fight this is. I'm not sure which part of the fight this is. And I lost track of that. Of that. threw off my whole rhythm. Um, let's look for the things on the ground. Ah! Looking for these things in the ground. Was it checkpoint after each one, maybe? Am I still alive? I'm holding on for dear life at this point. Thank you. Ah! Is this a bad time to save my game? <laughs> this, is a, this is a bad time to save my game. I get it. Okay, Nyland, can you pull this bad boy up now, please? It's calling your name. Over here. Whip this thing up. Get this, get this bad boy up in the air. Summon, summon this crystal. Summon it. Summon it. Pull it up. Pull this bad boy up. Oh god, that's my face. Can you not laugh at me? Do what I want you to do. Okay. You don't really want to do what I want you to do. Yeah. Pull that crystal out of the floor, sir. Do it! I don't have all day. It's glowing, so I'm pretty sure there's still a crystal in here. I'm pretty sure this does no damage to him. I need to get his fucking little baby brain open. Yes, thank you. How long have I been waiting for you to do that, son? Oh, no more crystals? No more crystals? Jesus! Oh my god! Um. Holy shit. You know, at a time like this, it's like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> what the fuck? I'm just, I'm just running around, dude. I am straight up just running around. Any suggestions, Nylanth? Because, uh, it's pretty fucked what you're doing here. <gasps> oh, the forklifts, too! Oh, no! Not the forklifts. Okay. What? You had a shield? Oh my god! Ah. I'm definitely not doing anything to him. <laughs> this is absolutely this is absolutely fucked. What am I doing here? I'ma shoot that. It doesn't work. Let me into your house. 
Violence. I want to be where you are. So I can kill you. I genuinely am not sure if I can just like shoot him and do regular damage to him or if we need to get into his brain. Like in the original. Because he's got a shield. Can I do damage to him? That's my question. I'm not sure if they've changed up the... I'm just not sure if they've changed up the... The fight... The fight mechanic or not. Okay, no, that does damage. There you go. Okay, so us hitting him is doing damage. That's good. Oh, now the brain comes open. Oh, shit. Okay. So you hit him and then the brain comes open. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. What the fuck? Taking so much damage doing this shit. There you go. Ooh. Uh, I'm disintegrating in the green screen. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> so they did change the mechanics of the fight slightly. He doesn't teleport you to random rooms, which is cool, and you don't have to do a, like, trampoline, you don't have to trampoline up in the air to, like, get his head, you know? You can just shoot him and do regular damage to him until his brain pops open. <laughs> Gordon Freeman. <laughs> Holy shit. Or rather, in the hazard suit, I took the liberty of relieving you of your weapons. Most of them were government property. As for the suit, I think you've earned it. The border world, Zen, is in our control. For the time being, thanks to you. Quite a nasty piece of work you managed over there. I am impressed. <laughs> That's why I'm here, Mr. Freeman. I have recommended your services to my employers. And they have authorized me to offer you a job. They agree with me that you have limitless potential. <laughs> You've proved yourself a decisive man, so I don't expect you'll have any trouble deciding what to do. If you're interested, just step into the portal and I will take that as a yes. Otherwise, well... I can offer you a battle you have no chance of winning. Rather an anti-climax after what you've just survived. Time to choose. We're gonna wait and see what it looks like when we get take when we get taken to the other place first, and then we'll walk through the portal because I saved. <laughs> it's time to choose. 
It's time to choose. Oh my god. I really like how he pauses time. It looks like we I really like that he pauses time uh, when it all explodes, similar to when the Citadel explodes in Half-Life 2. Alright, let's see what happens. See you later, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> Just getting disintegrated in the green screen. Oh, wow. There you go. Okay, so it does end the same. I was wondering what was going to happen. Subject declined offer of employment. <laughs> um, yeah, I was wondering what was, I was wondering what was going to happen. I was wondering what was going to happen. You have no chance of winning. If we're going to get taken to that room filled with them again. Max, after what you've just... That was cool. Like, the journey... The, tr the train taking and then getting t transported there. Time to choose. See you later, G Man. <laughs> there we go. Wisely done, Mr. Freeman. I will see you up ahead. Status hired, awaiting assignment, dude. So cool. I love how G-Man freezes that explosion in, in Zen, uh, really similar to, obviously, the Citadel explosion in Half-Life 2. Uh, just at that perfectly timed moment of, wow, you've uh, accomplished quite a bit. Yoink! Let me pull you out of there. Crowbar Collective. What an incredible job. What an incredible job. Uh, across the board, this, uh, this remake of Half-Life 1 is is gorgeous it's beautiful uh so faithful i love the references it does to uh future content like the the sort of the benefit it has of uh coming out after you know the other half-life games is it can you know put isaac and eli in there and make references to things and uh it was, it was a lot of fun and the npc and character interactions that i that i did have were were amazing because uh, you could tell that there was like uh, so much dialogue that was put into the into the game in that first episode when we were running through Black Mesa at the beginning. So many new things to discover, and it was just so fun to play around with. Uh, I liked that they were even able to include, um, not hugely, but for the most part, you were able to you know pick up objects and move them around here and there, and utilize that in the game. It was it was awesome. Music incredible. So sound music looks like it's Joel Nielsen. Incredible soundtrack. I do. I do love Half-Life 1's original soundtrack as well, but um, had a, a lot of fun listening to the, the music in this one, uh, which was which was great. Uh, all the voice acting was was really good uh, as well. Like the voices of the scientists were very faithful. Even G-Man was not jarring to to listen to, and that's a very that's a very hard and iconic voice to do. You know, G-Man, um, G-Man and Barney, you know, is a talented voice actor. <laughs> Um, and uh, yeah, there was no moments where voicing was uh, at all jarring to listen to. It was awesome. Uh, the expansions on Zen uh, were absolutely incredible. Um, yeah, just just wild to see how much more they were able to really breathe life into it uh, and flesh it out and expand it in a way that didn't feel like it was going against what Valve would do at all. Uh, it felt very much in line with uh, what they would have put into the game had they had the resources to do so uh, at the time because uh, I, I believe uh, parts of uh, Half-Life 1, the Zen uh, part of that game had some like rush development or cut contents and stuff like that um, so it, it didn't feel like a amazing segment of the original title but what Black Mesa or Crowbar Collective were able to do with Black Mesa was really go into what they were trying to do or intending to do um, and it's just just amazing uh, for them to, to do that you know uh, and go and I don't know, realize its full potential I suppose uh, l so much fun uh, really really enjoyed it uh, interloper and um, surface tension both being like two of the coolest chapters of the game um, while also being like the longest um, there's parts of interloper that are that are really awesome um, it is a long 
um, you know, long segment of going on conveyor belts. But outside of that, outside of that, the uh, the combat stuff, the music it was it was really really cool, and uh, the environments were amazing. It's it's just a just a beautiful remake. This is one of those beautiful examples of how to do a remake right. Um, I would say it's beautiful. I'm assuming this will just take us to the main menu now. But we are just staring at a black screen until something happens. Um, there we go. End game. So it just takes us back to the menu. Black Mesa, everybody. Beautiful, beautiful remake. And uh, I'm aware that it's had a ridiculously long journey as well. Because I believe it started off as a Half-Life 2 mod. Uh, and there was a, and it, and it stopped before you got to Zen and Zen was really like sort of the thing where it shines. A lot of you have kind of spoken about that, uh, and its development and how much of a passion project this is and, you know, um, how well rated it is and Valve's official endorsement of it as well. It's, uh, it's, it's such a, such a beautiful thing, but thank you so much for joining me for the Black Mesa playthrough. Um, it hasn't been one of my, one of my best. And I acknowledge that in things that I have missed or, or glossed over and, in the in the earlier chapters but i do genuinely hope that you have enjoyed coming along this journey with me i really loved it uh and i had a lot of fun playing it uh and it was and it's great to bring the half-life series full circle on the channel six months ago we started half-life one and then we played through the full series and we're bringing it all around again with with black mesa and it feels like a beautiful end point to close the Half-Life series on for now until something else arrives around the corner. So I've gone from Half-Life 1 and circled all the way back around to the Black Mesa remake. And it's been, it's been a beautiful journey. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the support. And I'll see you in the next video, guys.